Hi guys, so um, today uh, we're going to be looking at modeling with sinusoidal functions phase shift as I discussed in class and these, these, this problem set is the last problem set in trigonometry so congratulations you have made it to the end of trig however these these problems are a little bit tricky because of the additional phase shift all right, so we're going to try to navigate them as best as we can. And let me read the first problem for you. Uh, also, I've disabled the uh, the video camera because, again, uh, my glasses are being fixed. And so I have to basically, um, I have to go right in front of the screen because I'm blind. And uh, I don't want to intimidate anyone with, my ha with half my face basically covering the entire video camera. Okay, so I'm going to do this one without the video camera. Okay, so in this problem it says, in the month of March, the temperature at the South Pole varies over the day in a periodic, in a periodic way that can be modeled approximately by a trigonometric, trigonometric function. Okay, so this is temperature variation over, over one day in the month of March in the South Pole. Right, the highest temperature is about minus 50 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold and it is reached around 2 p.m. The lowest temperature is about negative 54 degrees Celsius and it is reached half a day apart from the highest temperature at 2 a.m. Okay, so about 12 hours, right? So in about a 12 hour span, it goes from negative 50 degrees Celsius to negative 54 degrees Celsius, okay? And that is the lowest. So it says, find a formula for the trigonometric function that models the temperature T in the South Pole in March, T hours after midnight. Okay, define the function using radians. So they want a function T, the function T uh, with respect to time in hours after midnight. And then they ask, what is the temperature at 5 p.m.? Round your answer if necessary to two decimal places. Okay, so I'm going to um, go to this part, all right, and so we can work on it. So let's take a look. All right, so we have, okay, sorry about the cross here. That was part of the, uh, the, uh, the copy. So I'm going to take my pen, get a little bit thicker, and we'll do, we'll do purple. Okay, so some important information, okay? So all this data deals with one day in March. And here we have the highest temperature, right? Sorry. So we have the highest temperature here. And that is, of course, highest temperature is our max temperature. And that's minus 50 degrees Celsius at 2 p.m., okay? So the max temp max is at 2 p.m. and that is minus 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, And then it says the lowest temperature is minus 54 degrees at 2 a.m. So the min, the lowest, is at 2 a.m. and that hits minus 54 degrees Celsius, okay? And then it says, find the formula that models the temperature uh, T hours after midnight. So they want of T after midnight. So this is after midnight. So in other words, midnight is our T0, okay? Midnight is our initial time, so T0 is at midnight. Okay. Now, we don't have any information for the temperature at midnight. They give us the temperature at 2 p.m. and then they give us the temperature at 2 a.m. So the minimum is at 2 a.m. and the maximum is at 2 p.m. So if I had to just kind of do a rough graph on this thing, okay, like that. <laughs> Here's T0, right? This is T0 right here. 
So here, let's say this is the max, and this is the min. Okay, so at T0, this is midnight. Well, there is no temperature given for midnight, but there is a temperature given for 2 a.m. Okay, so let's say this is 2 a.m. right here. And at 2 a.m., they give us a minimum temperature which is negative 54 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then later on, see, I don't know if that's correct, but just make it a little bit closer. So let's say here at 2 p.m., they give us a maximum temperature, and that is negative 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, so from here, it goes like this. So here's minimum. So it's going to go through the midline at some point and hit the maximum, right? So it's going to go like this, go through the midline, and go like that, right? Now, so we know that that has to be right in between. This point here has to be right in between 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. So what is the time right in between 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. Well, this is 12 hours difference, right? From 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. So it's six hours after 2 a.m., which makes it what? So six hours after 2 a.m. is 8 a.m. And that's when it's going to hit the midline, correct? And this thing is four hours apart. So from two, to, I'm sorry, from two to eight is six hours apart. So likewise, six hours going in this direction, it's going to come back to the midline. Right? So let's say I were to extend this function. So it's going to come back like this. Sorry, it's going to come back, make it a little bit more rounded. So it's going to come back and hit the midline again six hours previously. So it looks like it's going to be two, here's midnight, uh, what is it, and then four. So four more hours passed, so it's going to be what, eight? Uh, is it, no, it's ten, right? Yep. So two, no, it's six. Yeah, so it's eight, 8 p.m. Right, 8 p.m., sorry. 8 p.m., right? Every six hours. So from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. is six hours. From 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. is six hours. From 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. is another six hours. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so the question is starting from midnight. So here's our minimum here. Well, we don't have a value at T0, so imagine if we were to take this minimum point here, right? So we would have a shift this way. Okay, let me change the color. So it looks like we could see a shift from midnight to 2 a.m. Okay, and that is exactly how many hours from midnight to 2 a.m.? That's two, right? We have a shift of two hours. Shift two hours. Okay, a two-hour shift to the right. Okay. So let's take, get some other information here. I don't like blue. It's too, too light. All right. So again, basic information. Uh, we need the amplitude. We need the, the frequency. We need the phase shift. And we need the midline. Okay. So amplitude. Well, amplitude is half the distance from max to min. So the distance from negative 54 to negative 50 is four degrees. Take half of that, so it's two. Okay, so this is two right here, right? The amplitude here is two. Okay, or two this way, whichever, whichever one you wanna use. Okay, and then we have, we need the frequency. Well, the frequency again is two pi over the period. And we can clearly see here that the distance from max to min, uh, min to max, is 12 hours. 
So therefore, the period is 24 hours, makes sense, because that's in a full day. So 2 pi over 24, what just happened here, okay, 24 is basically pi over 12. And that is our frequency. Okay? Now our phase shift, we just said it's 2 hours, right? To the right. So it's minus 2. We got to make sure we put in minus 2. Okay? And, and then finally we have the midline. The midline is half the distance. So it looks like it's going to be at negative 52. Okay, which is right in between negative 54 and negative 50. All right, so let's write our function. So our function t of t is equal to 2. And now take a look. We start at the, at the minimum, right? In other words, the minimum, pretend the minimum was here at t0. It was shifted 2 hours to the right. So therefore, since our function is starting at the minimum and going to up to the max, it's going to be negative cosine. Negative cosine. And then we have our frequency, pi over 12. And then we have our value t. And then it's shifted two hours to the right, so it's minus two. And then, of course, we have our uh, midline. I think that is our function. Here. Whoops. I'll write to the function. Okay. And there it is. Okay. So, let's check. There's a lot to type here. So, we have negative 2 cosine parentheses uh, pi over 12 Now we have another parentheses. We have t minus 2, and then parentheses, parentheses, and then minus 52, I believe, right? And it says, what is the temperature at 5 p.m.? So at 5 p.m., we're going to find out by putting in 5 in here, right? So if we put in 5 for t, oh, sorry. Well, 5 p.m., guys, hold on. It's 5 p.m., so if we want to put in 5 p.m., 5 p.m. is how many hours from midnight, correct? So 5 p.m. is, let me see, from midnight, it goes all the way around, so it's 12 hours is noon, plus another 5, so it's 17, okay? So 5 p.m., 5 p.m. is really 17, right? 17 hours. So T, 5 p.m. is equal to 17 hours on the 24-hour clock, right? Okay. So, if we put in 17 in here, 17 minus 2 is 15. So it's really 15 pi over 12. And that can be reduced to, let me see, 3 goes in here, 3 goes in here. So it's really 5 pi over 4. Okay, so we need to take 2 cosine of 5 pi over 4 minus 52. So 2 cosine of 5 pi divided by 4, I bet I can't do this, right? It's 2 times cosine of 5 pi divided by 4, close the parentheses, minus 52 is equal to nothing. Okay, so please do this on your calculator because this calculator is super annoying and just put it into your answer here and you should have the correct.
correct uh, answer. All right, bye-bye.